These are some of the perks of the job. Right into there. Oh, wow. It's a thimbleberry. Is there a trail here? Oh, ah, I lost one. Okay, so it's morning and you had a bit of a late start, 7.30 right now. I got a few trees down already. Uh, kind of prepping for this real nice fur. Check out this fur. I don't know, it's probably <sighs> three feet, three, three to four feet. Oh, it's got some stuff on the lens here. Where is it? Look at this. Oh man, look at that. Real nice high grade piece of wood here. Must be a hundred feet up for the first branch. Man, this is a nice tree. So I'm gonna put it. Um, I'm gonna aim it like right there. And probably hang up in the high side of this root wad here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And if you look over this way, there nowhere to put it because I'd have to open all this, all, all these trees here first. So, and I want to put th these trees here this way. So, I might have to wedge it, but it'll be an easy wedge if I do. Try a different angle this time. Fuel. Almost forgot to turn the camera back on. You can see my cut a little bit low, but so my aim is off just a little bit, right? This affects my aim because it's not the bottom cut went in a little bit farther, so my aim will be a little bit more downhill. I'll fix that. Bye. 
Moisture's already starting to go. Perfect. Right where I wanted it. Except it did break though. It's a bummer. I broke about 14, 15 meters up right there. Oh well. Just laid it out nicely though. Um, yeah, that's an easy one to buck. So what we're gonna do is, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, the sun's gonna come up over the mountain right around there and come right in the open here. So what I wanna do, probably take a few more down here and then I want to work a hole and get these ones here along this rock face, below this rock face, and work a hole up in here. And that way as the sun comes around, I can work that way into my shade. So I'm not out in the open as much. I still will be, but at least I'll have some tree shade as the day goes on. It's already sunny over there. Woo -hoo. Yeah, that was like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Yeah, there's the sun. So now I'll go from mountain shade to tree shade, at least for a little while. Okay, so I did take out that snag. I didn't film it, but I took out the big snag. I was leaning that sideways, so I fell right in there. And uh, this is my next one. I'm gonna be putting it, oh, I'm thinking above that stump. I haven't really looked at it yet, but these are some of the perks of the job. Especially this time of year. All the huckleberries you could eat. Oh, that looks good. Just loaded. So I have a little snack here. Oh, oh. There it is. So I'm gonna put it above here, right into there. I'm thinking that's where I want it. These uh, suspenders are chafing my armpits again. A little bit chafe in there in the last couple of days, so I gotta get back to my bag and I tie some ribbon and tie my suspenders in again. I'm sure, it's nice not having sleeves. It's just that little bit just cools you down a little bit more. So it feels a lot better. Okay.
This is the perfect time to fix my wedge. So good my aim is Perfect See someone holding with there Yeah Perfect Nice easy Easy uh, spot to bucket. Actually, I think I'll just let him top it, but the looks of it, the whole thing will fly. Let me just, uh... oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll fly. Yeah, no problem. It's under two feet. Well, it's right about two feet. Under 27, the whole thing will fly. So I'll just let him top it. And see a little rot in the middle there? And it's just a tiny little pocket, so I don't need to take anything off the butt. Still lots of good wood around around it there, so. And now that I've got a little bit of a hole here. Yeah, plan's working out pretty good. I think I can throw those three trees right into here now. Like a good distance. So it'll work out pretty good. Actually, maybe, yeah, I'm gonna do that next. I feel up, move my gear, and I get those three three trees next.
That's cool looking, eh? Oh, beauty looking sump. Did you guys hear that? Something fell over that bluff. Bounced right over that stump there. I thought that would hold it up. But it's a nice and easy spot to back. And it goes right out to my next tree out there. Actually, I got one more. This guy here. And I think I can dump him, keep him uphill too. So I'll, I'll fall that guy bucket and then go down there buck that one and then go over there and start cutting those trees over there yeah it's gonna work out good okay so here's my next one pretty good size fur and it's right on the bottom line so it drops off pretty steep down there there's a big rock face part of the bluff right there and then over here another one right on the bluff so that one is oh, i don't know what to do with that one oh, <clears throat> yeah i'm not sure how i'm gonna keep that one from going down the bluff so we'll deal with this one first i want to put it um let's see yeah so the bluff actually goes along here so I have to put it right on top of this guy. That's what I'll do. Yeah. So I have to throw him up a little bit. And hopefully he doesn't bounce off and roll down the bluff. It won't be too bad if it does. The buckers will have to get it though. Because I'm, I'm not going down there. Down the regen down there. Okay. Set up the tripod here.
<laughs> I knew it. I should have cut more up. I knew it. That's why it was so hard to wedge. I was going to cut the middle out, but then the wedging got easier, so I just kept wedging. Perfect. Exactly I wanted it. Exactly. Right above that stop there. Right there. You. Nice. Nice. Whew. Okay. Um, I'm not going to film bucking it. Probably not going to move. I'll uh, turn the camera on when I get to that big one there. Uh, just one more thing. Just look at the rings on here. It looks like the first, I don't know, 50 years to, to about here, from there to there, grew really fast. So the rings are really wide, eh? And then the rings get really, really tight for the rest of the whole of his whole life. It gets really, really, really tight. Tight rings all the way to the very end here. I don't know how old this is. Actually, you know what? It's just not a good idea to score this. I have an idea. I just thought of this. So I'm gonna go start from the two foot mark right in the pitch. Just give me a sec here. Out. Oh, come on. Can't put the camera down for a sec. Let's see if I can do this here. There. Center. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I'm gonna film. Then later I'm gonna count the rings. Oh, well, it's gonna be tough to see rings there. It's really tight. Um. Okay, let's redo this. Oh, we're gonna find a good spot. <gasps> nope, I'm gonna have to do it right by here. Damn. Maybe right here. Damn, some spots hard to see the rings. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. Okay, get the first one back. Tape out the second one. I'm going down. And I'm gonna show you. Look at that. One second. Nice saw down. Yeah. There's definitely some bird's eye in that burrow. Oh yeah. Shaved off some of the bark. I'm gonna hit this stump here. Oh, I'm gonna cut that off. Pack up the pad. Pad's just right up there. Nice score, this one. Yeah, a little bit of bird's eye. There's a little bit in there. Right there. Bunch of pitch over there. I think as I carve in here, carve it down. I'll find a lot more bird's eye. 
I think this is going to be a real nice piece. Making this bowl out of this once I get all the bark off. Okay. Here's my next one. So it's a double top. Double top there. Pretty good size fur. It's got odd shaped butt here. So I don't know if there's going to be any defect in the middle, you know, rot or something. And then if I go over to the side here, it's leaning downhill. So I want to put it right there. So I'll just put it like this. Throw it in right here. That's the plan. Almost right on top of its shadow, basically. Um, yeah, so I kind of made a mistake. That little one there. I should have made this stump higher, I wasn't thinking. Um, it's also, I mean, the top on the right is leaning that way. The top on the left is going up that it slightly turns like this, at the top. So I might have to wedge it, but I don't think it'd be that hard of a wedge. And I'm right on the top of this bluff. down there so I don't know I don't know how hard this is going to be or not we'll see
Oh man. It's hot. Okay. So I came up a little bit short. So I had to clean it out. Now it's looking good. Looking pretty good. Okay. Now is this gonna be easy? Or is it gonna be a big wedge of thon here? Um no, maybe I'll go back here. So you guys aren't looking at my back all the time.
Turn up the middle a little bit. Now we're still got good holding wood on the sides. But I cut up the middle so it should be easier to wedge now. Fix this wedge. Well, at least I saved it out. Can't buck it now, way too dangerous. Huh, saved it out though. Oh yeah, look at the holding wood there. I was gonna cut more up on the side, but I figured it'd be better to just cut in the middle. I did, see, cut a big chunk in the middle there. Just made it a little easier to wedge. Makes it easier to wedge, but then you know you still got enough holding wood on the side, you don't have to worry about cutting it off. Though I could've cut more there. Um, yeah, I didn't sure how I'm gonna get down there either if I was gonna buck it. So what they'll do, helicopter will pick it up at the end there at the top, because it can't lift the whole tree, it's too heavy, so I'll just tip this end up and then lower it down, down there where it's safe to bucket. Then the bucket, the hill crew will go down there and bucket up properly. But I saved it out, so I didn't smash it all to pieces. So that's fine. Um, that's the best I could do in the situation I had. So worked out great. Okay, so I get the little cedar and this smaller fir is good to get lean that way too. Right, it's going that way. Take out this sapling cedar. And then that other cedar, yeah, I could throw that one that way. Um, I sure hope that one's not ribbed in because like, look at it. There's a big cliff right here. I'm on a sort of the hill, the cliff sort of uh, has a big rounded curve right here a bit. You can tell it goes around like this. So where am I supposed to put that tree? Like, <clears throat> there's nowhere I can safely put that tree <clears throat> to buck or to not smash up. I don't even know if it's safe to fall, but I'll have to go over there and take a look. But you know, the, the, some of the decisions these engineers make is completely unrealistic. So yeah. I'm not gonna get there today, and I'll get there tomorrow. What I wanna do is wanna work, see all the shade in here? All, all this shade is from these trees over here. So I kinda wanna work up into this, these trees here and then leave these ones for us so I have some shade. But it's probably not gonna last long because as time goes on, the sun's gonna come around. It's gonna come around over here and then I'm gonna be right in the sun. Okay, I gotta get to work here. Ah, one more thing. See, I shaved off these slivers here, we were supposed to. Can't have a little spike sticking up like that. Um, okay, you see this crack right here? 
see that crack right there? That's where all the water was coming from, right in that crack. Yeah. Oh, it either goes all the way around here. So that defect, that double top, it uh, came all the way down to the base here. And it cracked probably in some storms, you know, where it cracked the wood and then water filled up in it. Okay, so I have my phone charger in my bag. So I'm gonna get this tree going down. But they get dropped a long way. So I dropped it from there all the way down there. And just past that stump right there is a cliff. It drops right off like 30 feet. And the tree didn't break. It just it hit and the whole thing just bent down and boom and then wiggled. Surprised it didn't break. It goes to show how strong the fur fur or, or fur is. Put it in a bucket though. Look at that camera. My ch plants have changed because a lot of wood's leaning the swage now, so I, I guess I'll be working in the sun for the rest of the day. Okay, good to go. So this one here, I think it looks it looks like it's gonna slightly in this way. It's kind of tough to tell. But my problem is there's the orange ribbon boundary, bottom boundary line. So it drops off right there. This side looks worse if I try to throw it over there. It looks a lot worse. So I'm going to try and throw it up as high as I possibly can. I'm going to try and get it. I'm going to try and get it right here. We'll see. I'm going to throw it up real high. And then, if any, with any luck, the butt will stop right there on that little rock ledge right there. And then it'll be suspended across over to there. Then it should still be able to bucket. That's the best case scenario. I think I can work with this thing.
Come on. No. No. Oh well. No way I can buck that now. Well, at least I saved most of it out. We'll just have to repo it. There she goes. Ah, I saved it out though. Yeah, looking good. Okay, now I got this big one here. Like that one, that one, and that one are all leaning this way. But I want to throw all this wood higher up so I don't want to have the same problem as I had with these trees here. Um, be nice to throw this one up high enough to stay above that stump but to do that i got to get rid of those trees right there so i'm going to go over there and take a look and see what i can do over there i'll go to that one there and fall that one and that one and spend the day over there okay so that's the boss at the helicopter pad there he just came and give, gave me an audit now he's flying out back to uh I think he's going back to the uh, staging to the, where the trucks are. Um, it's almost quitting time, about a tank left. And uh, I got a big fur there, a really big fur there. That one's full. Oh, whoop. Sorry about that. Drop the camera. Um, another real big one right there. Phew. And so I'm just taking all this little stuff. And there's the far corner. There's one drip is the far corner. But check this out. Show you guys something. Look at this. Wow. Look at the big boulder. That's so cool. 
You go right underneath it. Oh, I'm gonna clean the lens here. There you go. I'm gonna go back a little bit here. Look at that, eh? <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, if it's raining, I can hide underneath there. It goes down a little ways, too. Huh. Oh. Isn't that awesome? It's so awesome. Okay, I just want to show you guys that. That work. Okay, so I'm on the far corner of my uh, quarter here. I got this hemlock. Not every good one's got lots of limbs on and everything. But it's in the way for these big furs. So I'm gonna throw these big furs down right where I'm standing here. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this thing. I don't think uh, there's any value in this. Could be, but we'll not tell we cut her down. Beauty. Okay. Let's give you guys some in here.
you guys hear that? That sounded so cool. Whoa. Maybe I'll play that back in slow-mo. Man, that sounded cool. Well, I'm just around the corner from the trucks. It's after work. The pilot said that there is a swimming hole just past this bridge. Yeah. He said he could, he could jump into it. That doesn't look very deep. Just past the bridge, there's a trail. Right over here, we'll find the trail. Flops on, not the best footwear. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Holy smokes, that's an awesome swimming hole. Wow. You never know where that was there. Wow, that's deep. That is so cool. How do we get over there? I'm a long ways up. Yeah. Um, maybe I went down the wrong trail. Maybe I was supposed to go down the trail before the bridge. That's so cool. Let me just put down the tripod here. I'm not gonna have enough time. To go over there and jump in now. It's only a few trips left from the chopper. That's so cool. I wonder how many other people know this is here. That's a good place to jump from. <laughs> yeah, I'm way too far away now. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go see finding a, another trail over the other side over there. It drops off. It's like 20 feet down or more. Right down there. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Check this out. It's a thimbleberry. They're really, really good. Really good. Mm. Oh, it's warm from the sun. Let's go look down this way. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I think I see a trail. I'm gonna have to come back with some proper shoes. Is there a trail here? Oh, ah, I lost one. Uh oh. Okay, let me find my sandal here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back with some better sandals. Some hiking sandals. I think that's the trail there. We'll jump off of that tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, so cool looking. All right.